Okay, this is uh, part two, I guess, to the albino ball python group arriving, and a quick little rack tour. Uh, these are my home-built racks. I only have two of them. I have a, let's see, fifteen uh, tub Rubbermaid two 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 zero series uh, rack that I built. I have the uh, the tops on the other side. It's not painted at all, but the tops on the other sides do have uh, contact paper uh, that sticks to it. Okay, and. Uh, keeps the moisture from uh, soaking up in that wood there. Over on this side I have a 10 high Starlight 1960 rack. I uh, got these both set with hot spots at 90 on the uh, helixes and keeping it heated right now with a uh, little room heater and got it insulated as best I could for now. Um, so let's take a look and see what I have here. I have a tub that should have my albino female well, she's kind of under a large hide right now. Um, or a small hide for her, I should say. And there she is, looking beautiful. Let's see. Hey, bub. Nice size, real nice size. She's eating, uh, well, she's actually eating a mouse and a rat pup for me. Um, she was, I believe, eating small rats. I'm trying to get her onto them as soon as I can to keep her weight up. Get this hide back in there for her. She's sitting on the back end there. It should be nice. I have the front set. They're about 80, and the back is about 90. Um, the other male I have to go with the female. There he is. Oh, it looks like he's ready to eat something. Love that. Love that look. Feel the heat coming in the back there. Feels good. All right. I was having a little worries with this room. It's down in the basement, and we're getting some cold temperatures. Uh, and here, the one of the hats that I have sitting there, chilling in her hide, doing her thing. Regular looking ball python. All right. And the other hat is right down here. See, no hiding there. Uh, pretty wet container. I'm going to have to. Uh, it's going to be cleaning day for me in a minute. Um, let's see, over here, I've got my pride, my baby, Wee Wee. My daughter named him Wee Wee. This is my dwarf albino reticulated python. He's uh, from Steve Gooch. Thank you, Steve. Great snake. Um, looks like he's got cleaning day coming today, too. Uh, right underneath of him, I have a female het. She's got a nice little feeding response, as you see there. She thinks something's going on. She's great. Um, love her. As soon as you get her up, she's a great snake. Did go to the bathroom right on me when I got her the first day. Of course. That's a retick for you. And in here I have... There's my albino granite. My albino granite Burmese python back there. I'm not going to pull her out right now. She's a female. She's also het for green. And over here, I didn't show you this guy, but this girl, but I have an albino green 2010 baby from Ben Rogers over in uh, Southern California, producing some great animals. And she is going to be breeding with a green granite that he's producing me. Uh, I should be picking that up in about a month or so. All right, so uh, that's my uh, my mini snake room here, my 15 rack Rubbermaid 2220 homemade uh, rack, and my uh, 10 high Starlight 1960, both heated by FlexWatt. This big one's got the uh, 11 inches, and this has the 3 inch, I believe. All right, peace out. Tell me, guys, what you think.